Welcome everybody to Farmingdale Lanes for the final four shootout of LIGBT's House Shot Championship. Let's meet the final four. Up first, Mr. Dion Tate from Amityville, New York. Dion has a 175 club average, getting 31 pins. And next up to him is Mr. Mike Nenner from Tobey, Hannah, Pennsylvania. Mike has a 158 club average, getting 46 pins, and he's the only senior here in the finals. And up next to him is Mr. Scotty Gray from East Meadow. Scotty has a 178 club average, getting 28 pins. And last but not least, looking for his first LIGBT title is Joe Evers from Islip Terrace. Joe has a 171 club average, getting 35 pins. Okay, bowlers, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. We had a great turnout today which gave us a top four prizes of 1500 first, 750 second, 500 third, 300 fourth. So a big prize fund up here for these bowlers, the bowling on the Bourbon Street pattern, which really produced some very nice scoring today. First up, Mr. Scotty Gray. And Scotty throwing a ball nicely, putting 10 in the pit. Well done, Scott. All right, Scotty. Got one title. Looking for title number two. Mike Denna has one title. Just won it about a month ago. Deion Tate's two titles. And last but not least, Joe Evers on the right lane right now looking for his first title and an invitation to the LIGBT Tournament of Champions coming up at the end of May. And here comes Joe's first shot on camera. And he puts, oh, what a great shot, leaving a ring and ten pin. Joe, bold in the first round of the finals in this pair, and he bowled really well, so everybody's got an advantage. It could be Joe. All right, Deion Tate, two titles, most here in the finals. And Deion going way wide. Oh, get a break. Leaving there, 410. Bad break, 410. All right, Joe. Let's see how he does making this spare. Joe, all over that spare 10 pin. Well done. Joe, been a member since 2013, six years. He picks the spots that he wants to bowl. Smart player. And here comes Dion. Yeah, in the woods smartly and leaving just the 10 pin. So we've got our first open of the match. And here's a look at our senior bowler, Mike Nena, all the way from Toby Hanna, Pennsylvania. But he bowls league in New York and Whitestone in Queens. And you're going Jersey, leaving the 5-9. Mikey won his first title at Garden City. No, where? Levittown. How long ago? I know, about a month ago? About a month ago. So now he's looking for two titles. So Mikey, one of the hot bowlers here on the LIGBT. All right, here he goes. No chop now. Oh, he avoids it, making the spare. So three of the four bowlers mark in their first frame. Now heading into frame number two. The first on the left will be Joe Evers. Joe, this is his home bowling center, Farmingdale Lanes. So he's got a little house advantage, house knowledge. Joe bowled 7.48 today at 1 o'clock to advance. All right, Joe. Spare in the first frame. Here comes his shot. He likes it. Ribbon the rack blows the five pin away for a strike. Well done. Here comes Scotty Gray. Scotty going high here, leaving just the four pin. Scotty up quick with his spare ball. Here comes Scott, right at that spare. And he makes it. Well done, Scotty. All right, Mike Nenna now. Working off an eight spare. Mikey, second and third arrow, looking good, ripping it up, and he gets the strike. Now, Mike had the 
benefit of being the only senior in the round before this, so he knew he was making the finals, but he wanted one less competitor here in the shootout, so he wound up advancing on his own. Deontay, oh, look at that pin going around the 10, leaving just the 10 pin. All right, Scotty quickly getting up there. Frame number three, working off the spare. He struck in his first time on this left lane. And there he goes, the five seven falls down. Well done for Scotty Gray. So he strikes twice on the left lane. And here comes Dion all over that. Oh no, it hooks at the end, surprised. Dion, usually a good player on spares. All right, so he has started slowly, but plenty of match left. Dion up on the left lane. Shot 764 on the last squad at 5 o'clock to advance. He's been a member since 2012. Seven years. His wife Damalyn and that new little baby girl is here watching. And Dion going high, leaving the 310 split. All right, Joe Evers now. Joe off to a good start, looking for a double. Here comes Joe, and Joe, leaving the 10 pin. So far, no doubles here, and the scoring and the first round was pretty high. The second round, the cut score was not that high considering the matches and if you haven't seen the scratch final shootout and Dion with his third straight open Will from New Jersey won shooting two seventy beating Justin and Scott Kemp and look at Joe missing a spare so now we've got Joe with an open frame frame number three now remember, Mike on the right is getting 46 pins, Joe is next with 35, then comes Dion with 31, and the smallest amount of handicap goes to Scotty Gray. All right, here comes Mikey. Mikey looking for a double, even the four pin, so we're still looking for a double. Plenty of game left. Plenty of games. Oh, we cramped up? Oh. That sucks. All right, here comes Mikey. Should make this four pin pretty easily. And he does. So we're through three frames. Let's take a quick look at the score. You can see Scotty Gray, 50 in the on the right lane. Beyond Tate with 27, three opens. So the handicap is not in there. So 78 for Scott, 58 for Dion, 83 for Joe, and Mike Nenna, 96, has got the early lead. All right, let's get back to the action. Here comes Joe Evers. Go ripping the five and the four and the seven down. Wasn't pretty, but it looks good on the scoreboard. So a good comeback for Joe after that open. Here comes Scotty. Oh, there's 10 in the pit for Scotty Gray. So that's our first double of the match. Way to go, Scott. Scotty Gray works for Great Neck School. He's been a member since 2009, over 10 years. Scotty has been a loyal member. Here comes Mike Nenner, our senior. Mikey liking it. No, leaving the washout, the one, two, 10. All right, now let's see how Dion comes back. He has some strikes left in him, I am sure. All right, here comes Dion. Goes high, leaving the tough spare, double wood, 3-9. Right, Mike Nana. This is gonna be a tough washout too, so the scoring is low here in the finals. And Mikey's got his first open, so now three of the four bowlers already have some opens. Scotty Gray's got the only double, and he's clean, so Scotty's getting the early lead here in 
fourth frame. All right, Dion. And that's his fourth consecutive open. So Dion getting off to a slow start, but his, you can see his arm and his hand is cramping. So he is really hurting physically. Bad time for him. He's throwing the ball great all day. All right, Scotty, our leader off looking for a triple. And he leaves the 8-10 in the pocket. Wow. So now all four bowlers are going to have an open frame to get ready in this early part of the match. All right, this is the fifth frame. Joe looking for a double on a strike. He has yet to hit a strike on this lane. There he goes. Let's see if he's got it. Come on, Joe. Ten in the pit. Joe has got that double, and he's back in the match. All right, Scotty. Well done, Scotty. Getting the wood. So Scotty now has 96 scratch, 124 with his handicap. Doesn't have the handicap. Well, gotta get a calculator. <laughs> All right, here comes Mike. And, uh, Mikey tripping the four seven. He likes it. Mikey likes it. So fifth frame. Way to go for the senior. All right, here comes Dion. Dion looking for his first mark. Bowls out of AMF Wantour. Thirty four years young. Oh, a stone nine pin. He is writhing in pain as he's grabbing that right arm. But I give him credit, he's toughening it out. Dion is a tough guy. All right. Dion is a welder. From Amityville. And there he is, he's got the mark. I'm not sure that's gonna lessen the pain at all, but. All right, Scotty Gray, coming off and open. Here we go. Going light. Oh, gets a break, leaving just the four pin. All right, Joe Evers is up. We'll take a look at the scores when the sixth frame is done. Again, 1,500 first, 750 second, 500 third, 500 uh, third, and 300 is fourth. All right, Joe Evers on a double. Can he triple? Here he goes. Hit for a triple. Joe looking for his first title. And the 1,500 first. And Scotty, way to go, Scotty. All right, so now Dion will be on the right. Mikey looking for a double here in the sixth frame. Scott, great lead with the one o'clock squad with a 770 today, so he actually got a buy in the finals. All right, here comes Mikey. Yeah. Up in the 10 pin for the double. So both Joe and Mike are on a string. All right, here comes Dion. Dion. Oh, four six split. It is crap. He's. Yeah, that's his third split all on the right lane. It is got to be painful for for Dion. But the good news is he knows he's getting at least three hundred dollars today. All right, Dion. Let's take a look at the quick scores now. Once he makes the gets the one pin. All right, so let's take a look right now. Joe Evers. 43 in the lead. Second place. Here comes Scotty Gray leaving the 2 4 5. All right, so getting back to the scores, you can see Joe Evers 108 plus 35. Mike Nana 96 plus 46. Scotty Gray 120 plus 28. And on the bottom, Dion 63 plus 31 pins handicap and 94. So right now, Joe Evers and Scotty Gray are fighting it out with Mike Nenna right behind. It's going to be a good match. Back to the action. Here comes Joe. Joe ripping the rack for four in a row. All right.
right, here comes Scotty. So Scotty gets the spare. All right. So Mike Nenna, he's right now down 11, but he strikes here. It'll be a triple and it'll reduce the Beat deficit it, to one. Jersey but going Jersey. Jersey. He gets it and he's Beat down it. only Jersey. one pin. Mike Nana staying neck to neck with Joe Evers. All right, here comes Dion. Dion. Oh, can't get that strike. Leaving the 10 pin. L-I-G-B-T is off next week for Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the women out there watching. And then we're back in action for a sports shot tournament over at AMF Syosset on Sunday, May 19th. So we hope you can make it. And the following week is L-I-G-B's annual super tournament, 5,000 first. Dion, big spare. Way to go, Dion. Right, here comes Scotty Gray, eighth frame, folks. Leading it up with a hit him thin and watch him spin. Way to go. Scotty striking in the eighth frame. There hasn't been that many eight All right. Here comes Joe Evers. Joe is a food service manager. Been a member since 2013. 41 years young. Joe going light, leaving just the five pin. Not a bad leave. So his four in a row is over. But he's in good shape right now. All right, here comes Dion Tate. Dion gets the strike, his first one. So, all right, here comes Joe. Big spam for him now. Looking for his first title. And all over that five pin. All right, folks, Mike Nenna now up in his eighth frame, and if he strikes, he takes the lead. So Mike Nenna, big shot here, eighth frame, looking to take the lead from Joe Evers. Big shot here for the lead. Going a little light. Leaving the one, two, four. So Joe Evers will have the lead going into frame number nine. All this fair, Papa. We'll take the lead. We'll take a look at the scores. So right now, Joe Evers has got 202 with a spare. Mike will have 193 on, with a spare. And he gets it. So he's gonna have 193 with a spare. So he's got a Joe's got a nine pin lead, and you can see a strike by Scott. So Scott right now has won 71, but is on a strike. So he's about 20 pins behind, and then lagging uh, is Dion with that cramped arm. So let's go ninth frame, foundation frame, Joe Evers. Big shot here, folks. All right, Joe, big frame. Ten in the pit, what a shot for the ninth frame. Giving him the foundation he needs for that title. All right, Scott Gray, still alive, folks. Needs a double here. Scotty looking for 10. Oh, he leaves just the two pin. All right, this is big here, folks. To stay within a mark is Mike Nana. All right, he's, he's trailing by nine. Oh, look yes! at this! Yes! I'd rather be yes! lucky than good. <laughs> yes! 
I mean, that was horrible. <laughs> was it a strike? Yes. Looks good up on the monitor. Looks good up there. All right, Dion. Let's see if he can double here. All right, come on, Dion. Ten in the pit, Dion with a double. He wants a second game. He's cramping up. He's cramping. All right, last look at the scores before we get to the ten frame. And you see Joe Evers. He's got less than a mark lead over Mike Nana. Scotty is in third and Dion is in fourth. Here we go. Final frame and Scotty Gray going high. Leaving the 369. Joe Evers. Up three. Two. Joe Evers up three sticks. Both him and Mike are on strikes. So he needs to strike it and control his own destiny. Let's see how he shoots it. This ball going a little high. Oh, he leaves a devastating split. A four, six, eight, ten. Holy moly, that's going to hurt both in wood. All right, here comes Scotty. And he chops it here in the tenth. So he finishes up with 235 with his handicap. All right, whoever's. Needs to get the wood. We just need one. No, it's just a spare. All right. And Joe gets the wood. Well done. All right. So Mike Nenna needs a hit in the 10th. Needs a spare, right? Spare. Needs a mark to win his second title. Otherwise, Joe Evers is going to win his first LIGBT title. Joe sitting there frustrated. So close, yet so far he bowled great. 203, scratch 238 with his handicap. Okay, Mike Nana, folks, for the title. Needs a mark. Oh, he pulls this. He pulls this. Oh, no, leaving the 610. He needs to make it. And here comes Dion. Dion. Going Jersey, leaving the 39. So here it is, folks, for the match and the $1,500 first prize. Mike needs this. Come on, Papa Crip. Uh, look at this. He misses oh, nice it, and Joe Evers nice. wins the match nice. by one pin. Congratulations. Joe Evers is in shock. Look at him walking over there. He cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. Wow. Unbelievable turnaround. Let's look at this, folks. Two thirty-eight for Joe. Fifteen hundred dollars. Mike Nana. Two thirty-seven. Second seven fifty. Third. Scotty Gray. Two oh seven worth. Five hundred dollars. And last but not least, D on Tate winning three hundred with a one seventy. All right. Let's see Joe with his check and trophy. Joe Evers. He cannot believe it. Grab your trophy, Joe. Congratulations. Your first LIGBT title. Congratulations. Well deserved. Go to the Tournament of Champions. And he's going to the Tournament of Champions. I'm on you right now. Folks, congratulations. Thanks for staying with us. There's your final scores. Have a good evening. Congratulations, Joe Evers.